Sebastian. And I'm Christine, and this is Carlos. And we are Ninth Island Connection. We're bringing you guys another update. It's um, middle of March, 2021. And we've been getting, we get a lot of questions when we're here in Vegas on the Strip and the different properties because of this guy. A lot of people don't know how pet friendly Vegas actually is. Yeah, so Carlos, when we traveled, um, and now even living here in Vegas, and when we staycation, um, he always is with us. And so, we wanted to just give a little update and share what properties are dog friendly, what properties are not, and just a little bit more information on what it's like traveling in Las Vegas with your dog. So first of all, the properties. The properties that are available and they're pet friendly are all Caesars properties. The Caesars properties on this trip are? Uh, Planet Hollywood, Flamingo, Caesars Palace, Harrah's, The Link, um, Paris, Paris, Bally's. Bally's, and also off just off the strip, the Rio is also dog friendly. Mm -hmm. um, the MGM properties um, have got on board with and are now currently um, pet friendly, um, except the Aria. The Aria is not pet no. friendly, but so the MGM properties would be Luxor, Excalibur, MGM Grand, Park MGM, New yeah, York, New, New York, York. Mm -hmm. Mirage, and I think that's in Bellagio. Bellagio. Um, those are all pet friendly. Mm -hmm. um, we have not stayed at all the MGM properties and had that experience with Carlos. Um, we have stayed at all the Caesars properties. We um, did so say... we can share that information with mm -hmm. you for the ones we have stayed for MGM. Yep. Other properties on the strip that are not Caesars and MGM um, that we're aware of, I believe Cosmopolitan and the Venetian Palazzo are also dog friendly. Mm -hmm. um, Treasure Island is not, the Wynn is not, mm -hmm. and then moving on down the strip, the Sahara or SLS, whatever it's It's being, Sahara now. Sahara now, um, and Circus Circus and the Strat are not dog friendly right. um, at this point. So it's always good to double check the with the hotel, check their website, what their policies are, um, and because there are some of them have limits of what mm -hmm. how big your dog can be, how many animals you can have. Um, so I believe right now, it, pretty consistent, it's two. Um, dogs, no cats, two dogs um, per room, and they cannot be over 50 pounds each. Is um, that that's the current limits? And we'll put this all in the description also. So just expand the description. You'll see a list of the properties and um, those limits and stuff there. Yeah. So, but again, just make sure you're checking with the specific hotel because while we've experienced this and have a lot of experience traveling with the dog, we are by no means experts and we are not speaking on it behalf of any of the properties right. on the strip. It's just, just our experience. Yep. And so downtown, if you like to stay downtown, there are some pet friendly properties. Mm -hmm. We've stayed at the Golden Nugget. Mm -hmm. um, we've stayed at the Downtown Grand. And I believe that the Gold Spike, Oasis at Gold Spike is also dog friendly. Mm -hmm. Down there, from my experience, um, there's not designated pet areas. It's kind of just wherever you can find a yep. bush and, or a grassy patch. So again- It's a little bit tougher yeah. than staying downtown. Yeah. But if you choose to stay down there, again, please pick up after your pet so that we can all continue to come to Vegas and bring our little buddies with us. Most of the casinos are fine with with your dog in there as long as your dog's well behaved. So Carlos is typically in his backpack like this. We do when we're taking him outside, um, do let him walk on his leash uh, through the casino as long as it's not busy. Um, but most places have been fine. Now most places right now with COVID don't even want extra humans at the tables so they're not gonna obviously allow a dog at the table. Right. Um, but he does come with us and sits at slot machines with us. Mm -hmm. um, sometimes he plays. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, but yeah, most places are fine and people are excited and happy to see see a well-behaved dog in the casino. There are, are not really any specific restaurants that are per se pet friendly, but we've experienced bringing him in that a lot of places have been fine with him coming in, either him mm -hmm. staying in his bag and being on a chair at the table or requiring that he comes out of his bag and just is on a leash on, on the ground. But again, he is very well behaved and it's probably on a case by case basis. You can see he's falling asleep. Yeah. Yeah. They all have dedicated pet areas for your dog. Um, they have poop bags there, they have cans. Um, some of them are fenced in. Yeah, so in this video, we're gonna show you some of the areas um, so you know what you're looking for when you, when you bring your pet. Um, and of course, I'm sure you guys are gonna have questions 
uh, more specific questions, um, just drop your questions down in the comments below. Here's some of the, the properties that we stated. This is what the pet areas, where they're at and what they look like. <laughs> properties um so you know there's they're not all nice and fenced in and, and not all it, humans pick up after their pets even though there are poop bags so poop bags they can give you for free there's a trash can right there um so please pick up after your pet uh, make, keep it nice and clean for everybody else that uses them yeah this is a little bit of what it's been like for um carlos being in vegas <laughs>
below? Comment below, yes, and we're happy to answer any questions. Thanks for watching.